Hi, this is Jeff Smith, and today I wanted to show a quick enhancement we made to SQL Developer Data Modeler version 19.2 when it comes to defining the columns for your Oracle tables. If I'm in the uh, Data Modeler and I'm in a relational diagram, I can toggle over to New Table Mode and get our Table Editor. And normally what you would do is after you give the table a name, I would switch over to the columns view and then start this iterative process where I one by one define columns and come over here and give it a name, click down to give it the data type, toggle these, and then maybe give it some comments. And then I'm going to come over here and press the plus button again and, and repeat the process. Someone online was very nice and mentioned that this wasn't the most seamless and uh, efficient way to go about this. And I agreed. So um, more importantly, the developer agreed. So in version 19.2, what you can do instead is when you get over here to the columns page, now if you want, you can hit this a bunch of times. Instead of coming over and back and over and back and over and back, instead click over to the overview page. So the overview page was always here, but the change now is that the items in this dialog are editable. So I can actually set these things up here. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. And I can set comments. So I can, I can do all of this all at once on this page. I don't have to click back and forth like I did before. It doesn't make me a better typer, unfortunately. So I hope you find this useful. It might even save you a few seconds when building your tables in the data modeler. And I'm showing you this in Oracle SQL Developer, which has the data modeler built in, but it's also available in, of course, the standalone Oracle SQL Developer data modeler. Thanks, everyone, and uh, have a nice day.